Okay, here we are. Um, I'm going to teach you guys my method for greasing linear bearings. When they ship from Misumi, they have a transport oil that's not terrible, but it's also not good for um, greasing bearings that are under high load or under high motion. So we want to remove that oil. It's mainly there um, to protect the rods and the bearings during transport. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out the rods. I'm going to have two rods here. You clean it with a lint free cloth. These are actually paper towels, but they're high quality paper towels. So um, that'll work just as well. Clean the rods properly. Okay. You may want to do this with gloves because it gets kind of messy. Okay. Here I'm using Super Lube Synthetic Grease. Um, you know, the manufacturer actually recommended a different lube. But the FZBot creator, Russian cat food, <laughs> decided to go with this crease. I tried it, actually works pretty well, so I like it. It's good, good viscosity for the application. <clears throat> so the concept here is going to be I'm going to put grease inside the bearing, and then I'm going to compress the grease in between the two rods as to force the grease in between the bearings, squeezing out the transport oil and any other contaminants that may be in there, and packing the bearing full of grease. Uh, this method will make sure that there's no transport oil left in there. It will give you a good basis. It's also impossible to uh, squeeze out the bearings when doing this because you're not sticking any objects in there. So I like doing this after I put my bearings inside the, the carrier. The reason I do this is it makes it a little bit easy, easier to keep control of the bearing, it doesn't slide around or roll around. So I know where I'm at. I can tell if it's moving back and forth, and rotating. <clears throat> so after I open my tube of grease, I'm going to place the tube right against the interface. I'm going to squeeze in a plug. Now I've created a plug of grease inside the bearing. So when I push a rod in, you can see the plug come out. It gets sprung right in, right? Now what I do is now that that plug is in, I'm going to withdraw the rod so the plug gets sucked back in, and I'm going to push the rod to the other side at the same time and then pulling the other one, kind of minimizing the amount of air that's in between um, the two rods. And then I'm going to push in the rods together at the same time. Okay, so here nothing happened because there was just enough grease to fill in the bearing, but not enough to completely pack it. So I'm going to pull out the rods. I'm going to apply another grease plug right here. This time it'll be more than enough. I'm going to do the same thing again. Push in the plug until it starts coming out on the other side. And then when I see it, I'm going to put in the other smooth rod and push. So when I push one, the other one comes out. That's when you know you're centered. And then I'm going to when I can tell they're more or less in the middle, So now you can see, as I did that, the grease kind of like came out the sides of the bearing. Uh, I can't really tell if it's coming out at the interface or if it's just a minor seal that's being breached on the side. Uh, I'm not sure if these are built with that kind of capability. Some bearings have a have a leak seal, so that, you know, so any overpressure can get relieved from the temperatures or something like that. They don't damage the bearings. But now that you now you know your bearing is primed with grease, so you pull out one of the rods. You see that it's actually pulling the other one in because of the vacuum. Pull it out. 
So push it back in, push it in, pull it out, move it to the other side. There we go. The bearing is packed with grease and it's completely free of any transport oil. It may have a little bit in there, but it's mostly gone. So I know this method, um, you know, there are tools made for greasing these kinds of bearings. This method is effective if you minimize the air that you put in between the smooth rods. Um, you can get a pretty, pretty solid um, packing and minimizing the amount of air inside the bearing. And if there's a little bit of air, it's not a big deal because, you know, the bearing interfaces with air and it gets sloughed off. So this isn't meant to be 100% packed. And in fact, bearings aren't designed to be completely pressurized with grease because grease expands with heat and in high heat applications, you know, you don't want your bearing being overpressurized. So they're, they're designed to just be, to have a lot of grease in them, but not necessarily completely packed with grease because then you can seize the motion, right? Good luck, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.